Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I've got your gameplay for the MD450B Oregon, which is a French rank 5 battle rating 7.7 .7 jet aircraft. And my forgiveness for my, uh, or my apologies rather for this pronunciation, but uh, basically that translates into English as hurricane. So this is a pretty darn good aircraft in my opinion. This is more or less just an overall decent aircraft doesn't do anything all too well at 7.7 .7, but it doesn't really do anything again in my opinion all too poorly it's cannons the m50s of which it has four of them are okay sometimes it's like throwing rocks at a plane rather than throwing shells at a plane but of course you can't have everything in a plane and i guess that's part of the reason why it's a 7.7 .7. now interesting thing this is the patrie de france skin which is their aerobotics team or aerobatics team rather and fun fact actually a few years ago when i was staying at a hotel uh when you know undergoing renovations at uh at my previous house the patrie de france was actually at the same hotel as me and they were having drinks at the bar and all that they seemed like pretty cool guys but they were being harassed by uh a totally drunk and um stupid person so if you are watching any members of the patrie de france my apologies from america the guy who did that was was an idiot and uh, was really unprofessional because he was a CEO that was transporting an inmate. And um, if you know anything, you know, about CEOs, corrections officers, and uh, they shouldn't be drunk at all when they're transporting an inmate anywhere. So really, really bad. But anyways, let's get into some gameplay here, see what we can do. This is actually one of my favorite planes thus far in the French air tech tree. And I'm having a great time because again, doesn't really have too many weaknesses, doesn't have incredible strengths, but just does everything pretty damn well. That said, let's get into it. So as we get kind of closer to the action here, um, you know, of course, I want to kind of go over some of the strengths and weaknesses of this aircraft, if there are really many, and then some tactics for how I at least find it uh, to be successful to use this. Now, fun fact about this aircraft, so you know how there's the Oregon and the Baragon, or however it's pronounced, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it correctly at this point, I've already butchered it plenty. Now, with those two aircraft, it's actually quite interesting because the Baragon, which is the other one that you can get kind of in the same tree. Um, ooh, what? Uh, whoa. What's going on? It's like the happening. <laughs> what? Okay, this guy is coming back around for something. Hopefully not me. Oh, got a nice crit. Anyway, so the Baragon is pretty much the same thing as the Aragon, except that the Baragon is the... Um, it actually has a reinforced landing gear with two wheels on each side rather than just the one. And also, it has a... Um, geez, the F-89 is looking a little tasty, huh? Start firing now! Okay, sure to start firing a few seconds earlier. But anyways, so... It also has a slightly lighter engine and a drogue parachute. So it's pretty cool. Um, this guy seems to be like he's got no energy, no uh, power here. So, okay. What was that? One assist? The 163 didn't die. That's crazy. But, uh, yeah. So, I mean, the Baragon is slightly better. Uh, it does have a lighter weight engine somehow, even though it's got the same exact engine. However, of course, it's... Um, it does make up for that in sli being slightly heavier due to, again, having a reinforced landing gear as well as the drogue parachute, which I guess weighs it down slightly. So let's just try to fire in front of this guy. Got him! Nice! That was that. You know, some people might say I've got some terrible accuracy, which I'll take it. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll admit to that. But you know what? I don't mind that. That, was, uh, that wasn't all too bad. So that said, I mean, this is probably just going to be it. Typically, I like to have two kills at very minimum for a gameplay, but, you know, I mean, there's only so much that one can actually do here. Sweet. I love destroying railway carriages in this game, especially with guns. I've only got 11 shots left, so I'm just going to turn back around and do that. Really, what do they have? The ME-163 that I damaged? Too bad we're not going to kill them, but, you know, again, what can you do? So that being said, though... Just getting into some strengths and weaknesses, as I mentioned before. So, 
the strengths of this plane, in my opinion, it's got a pretty good rate of climb. I mean, nothing about this plane is extreme. So just bear that in mind when I talk about strengths and weaknesses. There's nothing that's overall very strong. There's nothing that's overall very weak. So it's got very, it's, it's in my opinion, has a good rate of climb, good top speed, and good maneuverability. Uh, those are its three main strengths, in my opinion. So much so that you can actually outmaneuver most planes with ease. Um, you know, that's probably its best quality, again, in my opinion. Uh, it starts to compress a little bit once it gets above 900 kilometers per hour, especially. But otherwise, I mean, it's very good. Now, when it comes to its weaknesses, again, I mean, it's got okay cannons. It can throw enough lead down range at any one point in time. But they're pretty weak. Uh, the default shell, uh, default belt in my opinion is the best but it's not really all that good um you know it's like throwing rocks at enemy planes but anyways match is over did okay one kill one assist three ground kills let's get into the next match and go over tactics so as we get a little bit closer to the uh gameplay to the battle here uh, i just want to kind of retract the statement i made slightly earlier in that the default belts are best it's really the air belts um i don't know why i said the default belts but the Air belts are best with this. I mean, it's pretty decent for the air belts because they have Sarmay, Armor Piercing, Incendiary, and some HE shells, which is very nice. Um, so, of course, they are going to be best. Now, also, some people might be saying, but Tankenstein, why are you playing this plane? Like, what's the point? Actually, you know what? I might go for this B-29. Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, some people might say, why? Ooh, man, it's all so tempting. There's targets upon targets upon targets. But I feel like these guys are going to probably go for them. So, why am I playing this plane? It's a French plane. Well, as I've been told, and I can't independently confirm this, unfortunately, but French people are real people, too. From, again, from what I've been told. Not sure of this, but it seems to be that they are real people, and as such, uh, they do actually have real vehicles in War Thunder. This F-89B really wants to get some. That one does too, but I don't think he's going to hit me. Okay. Got a nice hit on him. Okay. They're not going to be able to turn in on me yet. So I'm just going to shoot this guy up a bit. No kill. Fine by me. Turn down for hood. Should hopefully be able to get this. Activating my flaps. This F-89B seems to have overextended himself quite a bit. Okay. Those shots in. Not going to get any kills here. Jeez. What is going on? Holy guacamole. So, like I said, I mean, I don't really think I, I missed all too many shots. But, um... What happens is that, unfortunately, and yeah, I know, I let myself kind of get into in front of him, but unfortunately, uh, what seems to happen sometimes is you can run out of ammunition very quickly with this thing, and I don't really think I was missing all too much, uh, but maybe I used up more shots on that B-29 than I initially expected. But, uh, that said, the B-29 should hopefully be dead fairly soon. Let's get back to the base, reload... And get okay, he's already dead. So I've got two assists thus far. Reload, get back up in the air, maybe drop some bombs, and go from there. Actually, you know what? He's still alive. Okay. Yeah, anyways, let's reload here. Now, one of the great things about this aircraft is that it can actually equip two 1,000 pound bombs uh, for a maximum, obviously, of 2,000 pounds, which is very, very nice. In my opinion, it's more useful in Air RB, this aircraft. Uh, just because, again, it doesn't really have much more than that. It can't equip some rockets, but, you know, just for some extra points at the end of a match, kind of like what I'm doing here. Again, I got three assists, not all too bad. Might even get a kill here. You know, this plane is actually not bad. Now, one thing is, I do find that um, even when I get a lot of, uh, you know, when I do quite well when attacking enemy aircraft, I do end up getting a few assists with this aircraft just because of how it is. Um, it just doesn't really have the strongest air belts in the world. The cannons aren't fantastic. But let's go back into tactics again. Boom and zoom is probably going to be about the best thing you can do with this thing. So I'm just going to kind of climb up, zoom down on them, turn off my engine a bit because I don't really feel like crashing into the ground here. Got him. Okay. 
and I survived. Nice, nice, nice. So this aircraft is just pretty decent overall. Um, you know, can do more or less everything well. Now I've got a kill, three assists. In my opinion, not a bad match. Go for this F7F, of course. He doesn't have the same climbing rate that I do, but he's going in for a head-on. It's the final kill, so I'll just kind of oblige him on it. And I died, unfortunately. So that being said, I screwed up there, but not all too bad. First place, if only because I died at the end. So one kill, three assists, and more than a half ton of bombs dropped. So that said, we should be winning this match, but either way, let's get into one final match here and see what we could do. So let's have a, uh, a good final match here. I want to just have a little bit of fun in this. Not too much fun, you know, mandated amounts of fun. But, uh, ooh, this guy's coming over and drop. Okay, he did some damage, maybe? I'm not really sure exactly what just happened there. But uh, see how fast this thing fires ammunition? I already used up 64 rounds. So, uh, realistically speaking, I'm, I'm not going to go for that guy. But I probably will for the F-89, the F-84 over here. Swing back around. Really wish that SU-11 would go over there, help out our team a little bit more, but it is what it is. Uh, so we have, what, three planes over here? Not two planes to fight over here. Not too bad. I should be able to hopefully knock out this F-89. I mean, F-89s are like the bread and butter with this thing. Uh, have some real basic uh, NPCs there. Not a big deal. No one else is following. Very, very nice. Going for this F-84 now. Turn down, turn down, turn down. Not too bad. Somehow, I've not taken much damage at all, but the compression on this thing, as you can see, is just real nasty. Turn that down, put my air brakes on, and much, much better. Hopefully, I can get a nice shot on this guy. Probably not, because my aiming is just doo-doo butter right now. But, ooh, wow, he's actually pretty close. Got him. Not too shabby. You have this F-89 back here. Somewhere. He's coming back around. Oh, AR-30 or uh, 234. Probably shouldn't go for him. Probably should go for this F-84. Ugh, that AR-234 is a tempting, tempting beast, though. I will tell you that right now. Two kills. Not too bad. F-80. Not going to get him. F-89 I'm still worried about, though. This thing can pull a decent amount of Gs. Nothing all too fancy, um, of course, but not all too bad either. This guy's going to probably kill me right here. No. Okay. All misses. So I've got two kills this far. i got to fly back to base out of ammo entirely. Probably going to be stomped on by someone. Maybe not. So I guess I have to fly back to base. Not too bad, though. Two kills. Uh, you know, at the very least, I can hang my hat on that. But, of course, the match is still on, and there are a pretty decent amount of enemies left. So, again, I mean, that's probably going to be this main, the main weakness of this aircraft. is just, in my opinion, a relatively low amount of ammunition for somewhat underperforming cannons. But that said, let's land, get back up in the air, and try our hand again. Well, it appears as though the enemy has been defeated. So, that said, of course, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But that's about it. Two kills in this one. One kill, three assists in the last one, I think. And some fun throughout. So that said, thanks again. I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.